Hey friends, today we're going to do something a little different. I'm standing um, beside, hi, I'm standing beside the Urban Messenger from the leather shop. Um, it is a rainy day in St. Louis and so I thought that I would get this video done um, using as much light as I can even though it's getting dark so soon because I actually just sold this bag to somebody online and I'm going to the post office to ship it. And I wanted to do a video because there's not many reviews out there of this bag and um, and then you'd be thinking well why are you selling it if you like the bag why are you doing a review well I like to do reviews sometimes to just walk you through the bag see what it can do what it can hold in a perfect world where I have all the funds available I would love to have this bag in my collection um, some of the main reasons I am letting it go I will cover but um, believe me, it was not easy. This person approached me and said, hey, I know you own that bag. I'm thinking of buying one. Would you consider selling yours? Well, he didn't say that. He said, will you tell me about your bag? And I was like, well, I'll tell you about my bag and it's for sale. Um, so let's jump in. I have very minimal daylight and hopefully we can um, enjoy the colors of this bag. It is chrome XL leather. I can't answer every question about this type of leather, but it feels amazing. Um, I normally review full green leather, and I believe this is full green leather, but I review mine. Um, the leather bags I see on my YouTube channel are more matted colors, and this has more of a little bit of a sheen to it. Maybe it reads more formal. And um, yeah, so... I have my iPad right here. I'm going to read from it some measurements for you. This bag is 11 in height, 15 in width, excuse me, 11 high, 15 long, and 4 inches deep. And that was one of the main reasons I actually got this bag was because that is a sweet spot in measurements for me. I'm only 5'5". Five five, and it can easily look like a bag is swimming on me and in a second. Because this is a men's bag, too. That never stops me from owning a bag if it's for a man or a woman. But this is a men's bag. And um, it looks really good on my proportions. And um, the front pockets, I would say, actually all the pockets of this bag, make it so extremely versatile and easy to use in any kind of setting. The closure here is a snap closure with um, brass hardware, which that's fast access. There's a stitching down the middle, so these are two separate pockets. And they can really hold any size phone, even if it gets to be one of those really large Samsung phones. I have an HTC One. I'm using it to record right now. Um, I'll just keep talking about the detail, I guess. There's YKK zippers, but these zippers are so industrial and chunky. Look at this. It is so thick and it feels really good in the hand. They have some leather tabs to help pull the bag open. There actually is... Let me find it. Here it is. It comes with a lock. I'm digging around here. You'll see this lock and some keys so you can actually lock the zipper closed. Um, I haven't found myself in a scenario where I wanted to do that, but how charming is it that that bag actually can do it? You never know if you're in a setting where if you're in a courtroom and you really need to have certain files locked away. Can you see this? Uh, I'm trying to move all this brass because I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera. Um, and then just keep the keys with you. So I'm going to toss that aside for now. <clears throat> so often zippers, a lot of bags I have have buckle closures, and I was almost missing a zipper closure. Um, and it's kind of nice, the zipper is kind of off-centered, if that makes sense. It's kind of more in the back area here as opposed to right here 
Um, I think that's just to really protect a laptop that can fit in. I don't own a laptop, so I wasn't able to have it in here for scale. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing like coughing on camera. Okay, so this is the back part of the bag. And again, this is a snap closure, but for right now I have a very standard size magazine. This is like the abnormally large magazine size, um, if you want to see for comparison. So both of them fit really nicely into the bag with like incredible ease. See, even doing this review, I'm like, should I have sold this bag? I really maybe should have used it a bit more and maybe sold something else. But this is a manila folder that's in really easy in the back. This is a folder about um, a lawn service we use. I don't need to show you about that. Anyway, this has a snap. Um, the inside of this pocket is unlined. So that's, I don't mind that. I think that's nice. And now we can jump into the bag. Right now I have an assortment of things that's coming through. Just for scale, um, this isn't necessarily always what I'd be carrying. Well, actually it might be. Here is a Camelback um, water bottle for Washington University in St. Louis. Um, my husband got this for free at work. 750 milliliter. And that fits in there with like, let's see, maybe an inch or two to spare. I always have water with me when I'm traveling or even walking around the town. Um, I hate being thirsty. So this is the uh, carbon sleeve from Saddleback Leather that would hold my iPad mini. It's very easy. And that fits in a pocket, which I'll show you. Um, let me get to do it this way. There's some light. There's the logo for the leather shop. But there is a simple flap pocket where there's no closure, but I was just putting my um, iPad back there for now. This is an A5 Filofax. Let me know if you'd ever be interested in um, watching a review on this, uh, maybe a walkthrough of what I have in my Filofax. I know all the people that are watching this are interested in bags, but sometimes people who have bags have planners too. Okay, so then this is the inside here. There is a little, um, right here, I don't think my hand can do it. See, then there's like a little credit card pouch. And then there's two small slip pockets. I just have a nylon pouch in one of them. I'm fighting daylight, guys. I mean, I couldn't, it was, it's just too dark now in the season. Um, that's kind of coming through. So there's two pockets that don't have closures there. Everywhere on this bag that there's a stress point, they have a brass rivet. It's very nice. It's very well thought out. I read on their website that these bags are made in America, made with American leather. A lot of pride goes into this bag. Um, this shoulder strap, it really didn't work that well as crossbody for me. I'm only 5'5". Five five. Um, it barely worked, but I actually think this bag is better designed for um, shoulder strap usage, but these are how the buckles look. You can feed it through, can I do it on camera, to the next point. Taper down the excess, so they have an adjustability on that side and adjustability on this side. And then you can see their logos on the strap here. You can see this, this is the leathershop.com. And it's quite dis discreet, it's stamped in. And um, I really think this bag is extremely comfortable when it's in the shoulder strap mode where it's just on your shoulder, not crossbody. Um, it does scratch easy. But it doesn't seem to last. Like the scratches don't seem to stay very apparent. You want to be mindful 
Can you see how my fingers are coming through? It kind of brightens it a little bit like a marbling, but then that goes away. So yeah, I, um, I don't know. All day yesterday I was just writing down random thoughts about whether or not I want to keep this bag or sell it and um, I got down to the point that I own other bags that do the same function and I'm not a big person on owning a lot of excess in my life. Simplicity seems to bring me more peace, um, fewer options bring me more peace and you know I had the opportunity to sell this for um, almost the same price I paid for it which is kind of a rare thing when you're selling a used bag. So I thought I'd jump on that opportunity. Um, if you do have more questions about this bag, feel free to comment that on them. Excuse me, comment below this video. I'm on Instagram and I post tons of photos of my bags I'm using on a daily basis. And um, I do get back to people's questions if I can answer them, and maybe other people can chime in and help me answer questions that I might not know. Uh, there you go. This is the Urban Messenger from the Leather Shop. I've also seen this online called the Edison Bag. So, um, not sure its formal name. Goes by two names. Alright, hope you're having a good day. Stay dry. See you later.